Good morning. Today is Friday the 13th of September. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed morning. I'm, I wish I could let you feel the joy and the peace and the love that I feel. Like I, I, I wish, I wish for everybody to have that. That just that abundant peace, if I'm, like no worries, no doubts, no nothing. Like just, just this abundant. Like oh, God is right here. I'm so happy. That that's what I have. Yes, it's so good. And I I pray that you have that too. That's why I wake up so early is so you guys can feel it too, right? I want you to feel it. I want you to have that joy, love, and peace. I don't want you to like have days that are bad. Don't have bad days. Not it's not in scripture to have a bad day, okay? Because if you keep working, if you keep doing your scripture, if you keep reading your Bible, if you even open your Bible up, you're not gonna have a bad day. You gotta open your Bible up. What does happen though, I'm just gonna talk about this a little bit because we got a short psalm anyways. Um, when you get closer to God, it's gonna feel harder because the devil's gonna attack you more because you were once his. You know what I mean? And so when you start going on the path of this way, right? Because that's what you're doing. You're crawl all the way up the hill. And when you start getting closer to God, like you get these, they call them spiritual attacks. That's what I call them. So when the devil's like trying to attack my mind, it makes me think I'm like going bananas, right? And, uh, and he does that to everybody who is not of his. You understand what I'm saying? Who is not of his. Now you understand me. Yeah, so if you're not getting the spiritual attacks, you know what that means, right? You better start reading your Bible. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And, you know, I don't sugarcoat anything. It's like, I just, it's because it's so serious. It's, it's not like, oh, well, I need to read my Bible. No, you need to read your Bible. You need to read it. Like, there ain't no, oh, like maybes. No, you have to read your Bible. Like, you have to read your Bible. You have to know scripture. You, I mean, these are like things that God talks about in the Bible. Learning my commandments. That's what he says. Learn my commandments. Just, oh, my, my spirit is on fire today. <laughs> my spirit's on fire. We haven't even gotten to the psalm yet. <laughs> it's a blessed day. Let me pray us in. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I just ask that you open their eyes, Lord Jesus, that you open their eyes to your word, to your knowledge and your understanding, Lord Jesus. I ask that everybody who's watching this video, Lord Jesus, is just sanctified in your blood and that they can see the truth in reading their Bible, Lord Jesus, and learning scripture, Lord Jesus. They can see the truth in that, Lord Jesus. And just let them have that peace today, Lord Jesus. Let them have peace. In their minds, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, Psalms 128, a new living translation. That's where we're at today. It says, How joyful are those who fear the Lord, who all who all who follow his ways. Did I not just talk about following his ways? I'm just that's how God works. You know, like I said, I never read I had read. I always want to know what you're gonna know, right? Because God is here and He is giving this message because I already prayed that in. And so I'm just like, oh, okay. We just I just was going on the Holy Spirit rampage, right? And it, the first thing it says, How joyful are those who fear the Lord, all who follow his ways. Follow his ways. Okay. Number two. I will enjoy the fruits of your labor. How joyful and prosperous you will be. You know, following God is the key to life. That's the key to life. There's no other key. Like, if you think that money and power and all this other stuff that is here on earth is the key to life, you got to reevaluate. Re you have to reevaluate because that is not it. That is not it. I watched my cat chasing a butterfly. It was it was so beautiful. It was just so beautiful. It was like a joy in my heart when I seen that. And she's like outside, and it's just that little 
whole thing of joy. That's what brought me joy, like pure joy. And just watching her try and catch a butterfly. I'm like, this is so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Number three, your wife will be like a fruitful grapevine flourishing within your home. Your children will be like vigorous young olive trees as they sit around your table. When was the last time you had family dinner around the table? Hmm? Yeah. Somewhere along the lines, we got that one wrong, right? Because there is hardly any families. And if they do sit around a dinner table, they're like on their cell phones. Why? Why, why, why? Why isn't there family dinners? I remember growing up, we always had fi family dinner, like I think at four or five o'clock or something like that. And there was no cell phones. Nothing like that. I mean, you passed around the potatoes. Because I was meeting potatoes. You passed around the potatoes and everything. And yeah, it was always family dinner. We'd always have family dinner. You know? Always. And so, that one thing that just needs to be back is family dinners. Family dinners where you sit with your family. Because are you so busy in your schedule that you don't have family di dinners anymore? Is that it? Like, what is it? Why can't you make time for your family instead of being on that, being on that? I think I'm using the record this way. <laughs> oh, number five. May the Lord continually bless you from Zion. May you see Jerusalem prosper as long as you live. The Lord will always bless us. He has blessed me abundantly. He has blessed me. Blessed me. So I'm so blessed. I'm truly, truly blessed. And if you are, if you're feeling like, oh, the Lord has not blessed me, do you have a house or apartment? Do you have shelter? Do you have food and clothing? The Lord blessed you. He woke you up this morning. So you don't even understand. Like, um, you know, it could be worse. That's what I always look at, right? It could be worse. When I was going through my little test that God put me through, you know, I was complaining about having a hotel room. <laughs> but I did 9.5 years in prison. So a hotel room is grateful, right? Right? It's grateful. And at the time, I wasn't feeling grateful. I was feeling like, why am I going through this, you know? And I had to really be taken down to be built back up. You understand that? Sometimes God takes us down to get built back up. But he makes us stronger and better. And being grateful for just everything. And thanking him. One of the things. Oh, I'm supposed to talk about this. One of the things is that we need to praise him. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Start singing. Start singing. Yeah. it's a, God has just been like every, every devotion I've been reading has been praise him, praise him, praise him. So we need to praise him. Number six. May you live to enjoy your grandchildren. May Israel have peace. Peace and to enjoy and to live prosperous, beautiful lives. It is good. God is so good. He is, he redeems us and he just, he is here. God is here. God is here. He is with you. He is with me. He is here. He is here. And I just thank you. Oh, let me pray us out. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus. Hmm. Whatever, Lord Jesus, is coming up against this video, Lord Jesus, we cover it in the blood of Jesus. We rebuke Satan in your holy name. He has no authority here. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, I just ask that you bless everybody watching this video, that they get the message and see, receive the message, Lord Jesus. I ask that you give them an abundance of love today, Lord Jesus. Just abundance of love Love overflowing, Lord Jesus. Just give them that so they feel you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Love you.